Their homes are hundreds of miles away. The bricks they're straining to carry go into building modern India. The architecture and city skylines that are the benchmarks of its new glittering wealth. Whole families travel to these kilns near Hyderabad because they need the work. Smoke hangs in the air from the burning coal that hardens the mud bricks in the kilns. Campaigners say a raft of laws from low wages to child labour are being broken. This is a community of India's very poorest. I have come here with my family to work. Every day we make 1,500 bricks. India's economic boom is fueling the demand for bricks. But British companies also operate here, setting up factories, offices and call centres. How many of those are built with bricks like this? New buildings are going up all the time. This is due to be a shop with bricks from a nearby kiln. They are forced to lead subhuman lives. Uh, I don't think you know, such work conditions should prevail anywhere in the world. Uh, uh, and it's a, it's a condition that the entire world should condemn. And the multinationals are buying into that. Multinationals are buying into this. Then we found little Madhuri Malik. She's five years old. He says she's sick because of smoke from the kilns. Lung disease has. Lung disease has also affected. And there are many like her, and there's no sign of childhood in her eyes. Although the government reassures that it's across the problem and takes measures to look after families. We have taken action against the Brickin owners who try to exploit them earlier. Now there is no such thing. We are, they are given registers. Our officials make visit. We have provided them living conditions, very civic, decent living conditions. For years, campaigners have been recording these lives. And last month, a horrific punishment came to light. This man's hand was severed because he refused to go to work. But Britain now has new guidelines on doing business abroad. No longer can this type of work be ignored. Companies have to check on the working conditions of everyone connected to their supply chains, whatever governments or local owners say. Should you pay these people more money? I can't pay them anymore. Business is down and it is all I can afford. Here are the people building India's economic miracle. Now activists are calling their work a trade in blood bricks. Humphrey Hawksley, BBC News, in the brick kilns near Hyderabad.